need to hear this, but I'm telling you, the same people who uh trying to hold you down now, them same folks that tell you that you can't do it now are going to be the same one trying to be with you when you done done it. Trust and believe. I live through it now. I deal with it right now. There was a time. You wouldn't believe it if I told you there was a time where where I wasn't in the position where I'm in now. Mm, wasn't that long ago. Less than five years ago, I was in a one-bedroom apartment with a raggedy car. That's right. I have 2005 Chevy Impala with one light. In the dark, it looked like a big-ass motorcycle. But I'm telling you now, back then, in them days, people used to tell me I wasn't ever going to be a comedian. It wasn't no point in me doing this. It wasn't no point in me doing that. Didn't make any sense. This would just put me down. I, you know, people you know, people hate you, you know what I mean? And you ain't done nothing to them. I had certain people in my family. You know, that's, that's why I learned that there's a big difference between family and relatives. I had relatives that would tell me that I couldn't do nothing. And it wasn't a matter of them actually believing that I couldn't do anything. It's just that they never wanted to see me do do well in life. You understand? Always want to put you down. Always try to keep you at a certain level. Always want to keep you beneath them. But, but you know, the thing about it is when God got his hands on you and God, God doing what he doing for you, can't nobody, you know, ain't nothing they can do about it. So <clears throat> fast forward to now. Same relatives calling, texting, trying to trying to figure out how, how they can book me, how they can be involved in what basically trying to make money off of me. Sad. Like I'm supposed to forget all the mess you done said. Oh, you figure since you didn't say it in my face, then I didn't know that you said it. Oh no, it's, you know, I know you said it. I know you said it. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, don't worry about them. Use them as a stepping stool. And the same people who put you down going to be the same ones chasing after your blessing after your blessing becomes apparent. The same ones who are trying to suppress the light and dim the light that God had put inside. They're going to be the same one trying to stand in that light once it's out and it's all out in the public. Don't worry about it.